Hello, my name's Phil. I'm from Small Hall Boxing, and we're here today talking to a legendary boxer, John, trainer, cornerman. You know, he's been there, seen it, done it. John, how are we doing, mate? We'd like to ask you some questions, mate, about the time, you know, when you were in a boxing ring sparring and you fought, and uh, I do believe that you floored the former British and European champion. Oh, I did. Um, landed uh, my jab and uh, right cross off the, off the jab. Eh? He was certainly down for about 16 seconds. That was one of my greatest moments. And uh, he stopped in an actual fight, a Mexican great world day champion. And my other greatest moment was against Walter McGowan. Uh, very even Stephen, but I had a height and uh, reach, reach uh, advantage on him. And uh, I gave an exhibition with him in front of a big crowd in uh, Hamilton. And it was quite even Stephen. Wow, and, and you know, what, what was your kind of signature punch? What, and you, let's talk about the last, some of your last opponents, you know, how, how you kind of dealt with them. What, what was your kind of move and how did you kind of finish them off? Well, if somebody was shorter than me with, you know, a shorter reach, I used to love them to come to me and catch them with a right cross, uh, a jab and a right cross. I didn't like uh, taller men who kept a, <laughs> kept a step out and were movement. I, I didn't like that. I lost to quite a few of them, but uh, the smaller men, uh, the number one in Britain, he was smaller and he came to me and I beat him three times. So I beat the number one in Britain three wow. times. Wow. But um, in my last, and now sorry for blowing my trumpet, but uh, you've asked me, in my last eight fights, five were one punch stoppages. Just one wow. punch and it was over in five fights. That's amazing, John. And you know what's amazing, John, that you know you had such a good boxing career, but you're still in the boxing game now. You're still there, you're there tonight, involved with the boxers, get it, you know, in the corner, sharing a wealth of knowledge. I think it can only be a good thing for the sport, John. And me, for one, at Small Hall Boxing, Phil, I hope that we get to do lots of these interviews with you, get to talk about boxing lots. Um, yes, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yes, thank you very much indeed, Phil. And you see, my dream had to be a World, World Day champion. I dreamt about it. And uh, that's why these moments which have uh, related to you mean, mean the world to me. Yeah. Uh, because um, I was in a car crash at 100 miles an hour. I'm just lucky to uh, survive. And I get cuts there and that stopped my boxing uh, right. career. So I don't know how far I could have gone. At least uh, a world champion, Walter McGowan, said I could have gone, gone all the way to a world, world title. That was his compliment. And after that, the said, John, what a tremendous left jab you've got. And you, but you know what's good, great now though, John? You're inspiring all these new young uh, up-and-coming boxers coming through and you're able to give them the wealth of your kind of world, you know, worldly, worldly knowledge of boxing, which is, which is amazing. Yeah. So, uh, well, Phil, my, my spiritual home uh, just now is in the, the Brixton uh, Recreation uh, Centre with the Apple Week Club. Uh, lovely bunch, bunch of lads. Lovely atmosphere, everybody so friendly and helping the, the, the community do, doing things for people who need help. Amazing. John, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you and we look forward to talking to you again really soon. Cheers, Thanks. John. Thanks Thank very you, much, Bill. Thank you. Thanks, Bill.